helped. We had a lot of help with this program with costumes, um, a lot of parent cutters, a lot of parent sewers, and we very, very, very much appreciate that. And when you see the costumes, you'll know the depth of work that they put into them because um, they were a great, a great help and a great asset to the show. And at this time, I would like to announce the fourth grade students. Come on in. they're going to sing is not part of the musical but it is um, uh, it is a part of their musical instrument inventions that you all know about because the parents had a lot of involvement in the uh, students musical instruments this song is called mama don't allow
recreation. Wow. Sale is filled the time between sleep and work with craft, with craft the activities. The art of carving whalebone, shells, or ivory called scrimshaw was popular. Other sailors made model ships or worked on their knots, hitches, and splices. From the earliest times, people have sailed the oceans, building a huge variety of ships for trade, for war, and for travel across unknown bodies of water to new land. Ships can be powered by oars, sails, steam, or diesel engines. They can have the elegant wooden structure of a galleon or the tough steel hull of a battleship. All have fascinating stories, tales of bravery, inventiveness, and mastery of the seas. Trading ships. From the small trading boats of the ancient Egyptians to the huge container ships of today, merchant ships have penetrated the world seas. For much of history, traders were also explorers, braving cold, stormy conditions in tiny ships. They searched for better routes and new sources of goods to buy and sell. During the 1400s and 1500s, explorers set out from Spain and Portugal in search of the best route to Asia. They wanted to reach Far East and bring back rare valuables, rare valuable spices that grew there, such as peppers, nutmeg, and cloves. They traveled in tiny ships, risking their lives in unknown waters in hope of making their fortune. What is a shark? Sharks are amazing fish that have been around since be long before the dinosaurs were extinct. They have lived in waters, of, oh, waters all over the world, in every ocean, and even in some rivers and lakes. Early Greek warships were small with fewer than 30 oars on each side. Everyone had to pull at exactly the right time, so a huge drum was used to be out a clear rhythm for the rowers. Unlike bony fish, sharks have no bones. Their skeleton is made of cartilage, which is a tough, fibrous substance, not nearly as hard as a bone. Sharks also have no swim bladder, bladder unlike bony fish do. Rabbit. The captain of a tribe will first try to hold an enemy ship by rabbit. As the oars were rowed and the ship gathered speed, the great ram crashed through the side of the enemy ship. There are many different species of sharks that range in size from the size of a person's hand to bigger than a bus. Fully grown sharks range in seven inches to up to 50 feet long. Most sharks are intermediate in size. They are about the same size as people, five to seven feet long. you land lovers there on the shore and join us this day for our song. We'll sing you adventures on board and below. Our ship, won't you please come along? There's sharks underwater and crocs by the shore. The pirates still treasure and still search for more. The sailors are strong as they tame stormy seas. The ship, she's a beauty and sails with the breeze.
sailor's life is a wonderful life, sailing oceans of blue shiny seas. To exact ports and tropical isles, we explore our world with ease. We're brave men and women with snappy salutes who help save and protect those in need. Our ship speeds ahead to come to your aid for your safety we'll perform any deed. Our ships like your home as we sail through the days with our shipmates and family beside us. We wake with the sun and we dine side by side on a meal made without any fuss. Our uniforms spotless shoes polished with spit, buckles that shine bright in gold. Our orders come daily from the captain in charge with respect, we'll do as we're told. Our, our decks land new from our... Our floor shine bright, our decks land new from scrubbing and cleaning each day. Our cabins are cozy with pictures of mom by our bunks as we'll see as we pray. Come night when the ship travels on the moon, the stars far behind the sky. We'll dream of our ship as it sails through the night and rocks us to sleep as we lie.
shimmering blue. Sometimes they are black and churning. The waves can roll high up over our ship and spin us about to our turn. We'll secure the decks and lower the sails as the wind and rain whips around. The lightning will flash, the thunder will roll as the seas continue to pound. Many a sailor's life is spared by the light that shines bright through the night. Its unwavering glow pierces through the dark clouds as it draws like moths to the light. A lighthouse sits atop a great cliff and proudly stands tall and grand. We'll steer toward its light away from the seas and pray for the safety of land. We're really great guys. We'll sail through the seas. We'll look for friends. We'll have tea. We'll chat till the time simply flies. We don't have a lot, so it's nice if you share a bobble or two from your chest. 
Those sparkly coins you keep in your purse would fit nicely in the pocket of my bag. You have a nice flag, but ours is brand new and would match so well with your ship. We'll give you a hand, hoist it up high so it's ready in time for our trip. As for walking the plank, that's simply your choice that you make if you don't want to be friends. We'll do all we can to be buddies with you, best of mates to the very end. Arr! Arr! The pirate's lot is not a lot as we sail the ocean blue. We look for friendly neighbors with luck at last see you. Pretty clothing and your shiny silver coins We'll hoist a brand new flag for you Cause soon we must be going You'll share the treasures in your chest For that we give you thanks But please don't put up much of us You have to walk the plank Like trip. We watch for a splash of an arm or a leg. None of you fall, it won't bother us too big. We'll happily munch on a finger or toe. Your kneecap the perfect as crunchy things go. Your earlobes are squishy and make a fine treat. The skin on your chin is especially. So a snake eats your ship, maybe bump it a bit. If any of you fall, we'll be glad for a nip.
Are you tired of deep water? Come up near the shore. We'll be floating nearby. You couldn't ask for more. The water is much warmer. The waves aren't as high. Just float on your back and gaze at the sky. After fighting off pirates and sharks all day, you'll be glad for the time you'll spend in our bay. There is no danger here. It is quite safe for you. We'll make sure we're alone. It'll just be us to relax next to us, swim around for a while. The pleasure you'll feel will cause us to smile. as we sailed through adventures and song. You brave many storms fought with pirates and sharks. How daring that you come along. We'll leave you now to walk on the land and wave from the, and, wave from the, and watch from the sand by the shore. We'll wave from our nest as we hoist up our sails and pull up our anchor once more. <laughs> Final song is um, each year I teach one song to the whole school. Um, this year it's through second through fifth grade. I'll know it. It was a little too difficult for first grade, so I apologize. So, although some of them have learned it. But anybody who's out in the audience that would like to come up um, for my students and join the kids and stand right up in front of the crocodiles and the sharks and the sailors, you're welcome to come on up. One small voice. Let's go on to 
on the sign. Before the students sing their last song, we would like to just interrupt for one quick moment. I know you're all hot, but don't worry, Sunday. This is April, you know, mix of rain and snow, I heard. Um, Mrs. Voigt, we feel blessed to have her as our music teacher because she's just um, helps the kids, as you can see by the smiles on their faces tonight, to enjoy their music. And we think you've done a wonderful job. And I don't know if you noticed the front of your program, but it says um, Snappy Salutes Musical by Kim Voigt. And she wrote the songs and all the parts and all the music there that you've heard. And I just, you know, I'm in awe that she's able to do that. We're, she has great talent and we're thankful for it. So we'd like to present her this bouquet from the um, fourth grade students and teachers and thank her for working with our students on this program. with one 